It's easy to drive past the Delta Lake Dam, not giving it a second thought. But it was a modern marvel when it was constructed. Over 1,000 feet in length, standing 100 feet tall, people would come from all over the place in their horse-drawn buggies and these new things called automobiles just to come and gaze at it. Designed to impound waters of the Mohawk River and create a reservoir for a new barge canal system, the dam, or as I like to call it, New York State Canal Project 55, was built as part of a master plan to control water levels and at the end of the day, get people and things where they needed to go. Arthur McMullen of New York City secured the contract and the project called for a bunch of things. For one, the relocation of the nearby Black River Canal, which required an aqueduct and three lock combine system. And it also called for the demolition of a village known as Delta, which existed right where the planned reservoir was gonna fill. People in the village were given eviction notices and construction began in 1908. The work site was a hive of activity with the constant movement of people and equipment. Because you have to understand, all of these things were being built simultaneously. You have various buildings being erected, like a boiler room for steam power and also a machine shop. And for the dam, one of the first things they had to do was build the footings which reached bedrock and were strong, but had to be reinforced years later. Construction relied heavily on a large Bucyrus steam shovel that could move almost 2,000 cubic yards of dirt and rocks a day. It was like a really big, old-fashioned backhoe. It was transported from Rome to the site via temporary rail tracks, and it took about three weeks to get there. It would help to create a new channel for the canal, but plenty of elbow grease was used as well. Workers, mules, and horses dug a lot, and they began excavation of the hillside marked for the three locks that would carry the canal down cliffs at the Palisades. A concrete aqueduct was also built in order for the canal to go over the Mohawk, and this was made possible by a large on-site cement mixer. For the dam, 50% of its mass was comprised of gigantic rocks from Sugar River quarries near Boonville. Observers like Henry Sprake and John Harris watched the gradual ascent of this new impounding structure. As for the workers, they stayed at places like Frank Hurlbut's home. He actually owned the surrounding land. And also, there's this newly constructed Delta Dam Hotel that they would stay at, which is now the beautiful Delta Lake Inn. As completion of the three locks and aqueduct approached, all of the sections of the dam, which were built in phases, were sealed up, and the entire project reached completion in the fall of 1912. It featured a gatehouse, locks with a fenced towpath, water flowing over an aqueduct, and limestone blocks reinforcing the surrounding slopes. All of this led to increased canal traffic and, of course, tourism. The impressive dam had four discharge pipes that facilitated the controlled dispersion of reservoir waters into the Mohawk, and the whole system helped to mitigate flooding in Rome, which apparently used to be a real problem, especially on River Street, hence its name. With everything in place, a new lake began to grow, and what was left of the village of Delta submerged. After four years, water flowed over the dam for the first time, giving the concrete time to cure, and the birth of Delta Lake was upon us. Covering almost five square miles and holding a volume of 2.7 billion cubic feet of water, it now serves as a popular spot for boating, fishing, and other fun activities. A 
state park was eventually positioned on the lake's southern shore. And as of this recording, it's been over 100 years since the completion of the original project. You can still find remnants of the construction and also what existed before all over the place. The aqueduct is still there, but the canal has long since closed. The dam's still there though, and today it manages flooding within the Mohawk Basin. And if you take a good look at it, it's just as much a marvel as it once was all those years ago. Have a good one.